Hello everyone and welcome to Koala Craft Factorization Vanilla Server Time of Goodness. It is great to see y'all and I would be gesticulating if it weren't for the fact that I was trying to get somewhere in a timely manner. Now I know the first episode, the first, I don't know, probably two episodes of me with face cam. Uh, the first vanilla one and the first Feed the Beast one, I really didn't get much done because I was still getting used to face camming. And, you know, there's a mixture between trying to entertain and making sure I'm actually doing something in the game that is a little tricky. I will, I will find my Zen balance stage. What am I looking for? I am looking... Right. Uh, we are here today. To start on the island, and by the island I mean the island in the sky, the island in the sky, I don't know why that, I don't know where that tune came from, I really don't, and it concerns me, how much sugar cane I have, that's plenty, okay, so, I've been struggling with what the first island I should build should be, and I think I've come to a decision. I want the first island I build to be the villager trading plaza. So, this is something we talked about quite a while ago. Is this idea that I wanted to have this villager trading plaza in the sky. Or, originally I thought, I think my plan was to put it in the nether or something silly like that. Then I discovered the villagers can't breed in the nether. Um, so yeah, we are going to build a villager trading plaza because there are a lot of things we can get from villagers. Diamond tools. Diamond tools. Diamond tools. Uh, emeralds. Emeralds are also something you can get from villagers. There's a lot of neat stuff that I think will be quite beneficial for us to get from them. And that is my goal. So, to make the villagers... Or to facilitate... To facilitate... To facilitate villager trading, I'm going to give them their own marketplace in the sky from which they can trade with me. And I know, I wonder, huh, uh, hmm, I wonder if, if the Minecraft wiki, excuse me, let's, uh, dual screen mode activate, if I just open my web browser here and go over here, okay. villager trading on the Minecraft wiki, hello. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Um, does it? Yeah! Ah! Okay, so there is a wiki page that shows all possible trades. This I like. This is. This is your good. Zir good, zir good. So I will have to check out all of this information on the Minecraft wiki here on Villager Trades. So I know exactly, because with the Villager Trading Cell, we can be very picky with our villagers. Once we have the Trade Center open, uh, I'll probably rebuild a Villager Breeding Pen. You know what? Nah. Uh, I probably will. I probably will rebuild the villager trading. Oh, fudge cakes! Oh, fudge cakes! Oh, fudge cakes! Uh, there we go. I probably will rebuild the villager trading pin once I get up there to Lay Island. However, until then, can I? How does how does one? I don't. I don't know. All right. Anyways, I probably will rebuild a villager trading pin once I get up there. Just because. Because good times, you know? Good times and good friends and good places. Gotta say hi to all the lovely people in all the lovely places. And if I just go over here to 
where is uh, Mineconix. If you guys are ever making a circle in Minecraft, I highly recommend you check out Mineconix. It is a wonderful, wonderful tool that will give you wonderful things. And by wonderful things, I mean it will let you create a perfect Minecraft circle without a terrible amount of effort. And that is always good, well, because we are lazy koalas. You're all lazy koalas up in there. You're all my koalas. We are koalas together. I am not the only koala here, for we can all be one with koalia. Time skip go! Alright everyone, and welcome back, and we are at layer... 127 because I want to start my actual my actual floating islands at layer 128 so we have a full 128 blocks above us to work with as well and I think that's going to work out let me just uh, grab some of these ladders here and build down maybe this was a maybe this was a mistake maybe I should have done the ladders as I went um, yep this was a mistake. I regret everything. Oh, I lived. Thank you, Feather Falling Boots. Hello. That was a close call. Okay. So anyway, let's just fix this all up here. And I think this will be tall enough to get the type of floating island I so desire. And... I could probably go higher than just starting at 128, but I do like to leave myself a lot of height room to work with because I do plan to have some awfully large farms, and I do plan to vary the heights a little bit. 128 is going to be the minimum height they are at, and having different heights really adds depth, depth to a build. So I have plans on making things starting at layer like 130, 135, you know, just to get a little... A little bit of this going on. It's going to be quite good. Now, let me pop over here and pull up the Mineconix page. There we go. So, we are going to work with a radius of 25, I believe. So, we're going to go 1. So, 25 including the center or just 25 out? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It's 26 if you include the center, so 25 without. Alright, so exclusively it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, it's going to be plenty of area for a villager with Angawangi. Alright, so now that we don't lose our center, I want to start here. Four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, oh god. <sighs> shift, why you no work ever? Why shift, why? All I wanted to do was walk out on my little ledge. Hello everyone and welcome back. I have a beautiful circle to show you. And by circle I mean circle outline. Because it's not a circle if it's not filled in, which is totally not true. It's more of like a, uh, it's like a tube. I don't know. I have a circle outline. It's glorious. We're going to fill it in. We're going to do some magic with it, and it's going to be magical. Totally not looking down to turn my timer on. Fourth wall's not broken. Don't even say. Don't even say. So, 
Well, this is glorious, and I am glad you have all joined me here for cobble placing. Now, I have a dilemma as to whether or not I want to cook all of the cobble I'm going to use to... Mm, I did not bring a pick with me, did I? I didn't, I'm just going to ignore that. I have a dilemma as to whether or not I'm going to cook the cobble I want to use to... Because you know how there's the island, and then there's like the junting down part that makes like the V to make it look like it rose out of the ground? Let me see, is that in camera? Yeah, so there's like, this is the island, this is like the junting part out of the ground. I, I think you get what I'm saying. And I'm trying to decide whether or not the junty out part that makes it look like it arose from the ground. I'm not sure if I'm going to make that cob, or I'm going to keep it cobble, or if I'm going to smelt the cobble and turn it into a smooth stone. A lot of this depends on when I fill this in, I'm going to go down, or when I partially fill it in at least, I'm going to go down, take a look-see, and see if the cobble in the sky is absolutely hideous or if it will work. Because my theory is there's not a ton of exposed stone on top of the Minecraft world, so if we just make it look as if cobblestone had risen out of the ground, especially because cobblestone is the broken form of stone, it would make sense that the stone that broke out of the ground is broken stone. So, um, basically my reasoning is I'd like to keep it cobble, way more time efficient, I don't have to want to go mining for coal if I'm honest, so there's that. Uh, yeah. That's a possibility. We'll have to see how that possibility turns out to be. But, like I said, it kind of super actually depends on uh, when I get a pickaxe and I can break all these guys sitting up here. Not really. It depends when I go down to the ground and look up at this if cobble in the sky looks terrible or if I could envision cobble in the sky looking proper for what we're trying to do here. Because cobblestone and stone are just two different types of birds under the same stone feathers. I mean, they're like two kin of one akimbo, they're two shotguns to one bullet, one torch to five caves, you know, like, um, let's see, cobble, can I, can I envision this? Well, first off, it looks like aliens are about to invade or something with that thing in the sky. It's like, and if you have any imagination at all, you'll get what I was just doing there. But anyway, uh, if, if you don't get what I was doing there, uh, that's why I had Legos as a kid. So, imagination. Although I love, I love Minecraft, because I feel like Minecraft is giving back to kids what Lego gave to kids. And that's imagination. So I think that'll be really fun. Really good. Really fun good. And yeah, I'm just going to have to lay a lot of cobblestone on this thing. Uh, you're a jerk face for sitting there like that. But I will get a pickaxe and your reign shall not be forever. I don't know. I really, I don't. Don't, don't, don't ask. I'm not taking questions right now. Just leave the media. Leave the media.